What's going on? You're here with Nate to wait, and this is Cross Beats Production. So I want to do a show and tell on the Zen Tour. I guess this would apply to all of the Antelope Audio interfaces that use this routing system that they have. Um, the routing system is actually really fantastic. Once you get your head around it, it really doesn't take that much to figure it out. But I um, I would suggest that once you ab- obviously obtain an Orion or a Zen Tour or whatever it is Antelope device that uses this routing system. Once you obtain it, it does seem to make sense a lot more once you've seen this video or other videos like this and you've then used it in practice. Um, So the routing system is pretty straightforward. So as you can see here, it's got this thing called TB Play. So basically what that is, it's Thunderbolt Play. So it connects via via, uh, Thunderbolt or USB. So it's either or one or the other. And basically Thunderbolt gives you a few more extra channels of play there, so up to 32 and the USB gives you up to 24. So when you're seeing this, basically you can just see that they're color coded as per the screen shows you. And pretty much what you're doing is using this as a routing matrix. So as if you were having um, a desk that had different uh, slots, you'd put the cables into each cable section. The same thing would apply here with with the kind of mixer that you can see here. Uh, So pretty much what I've done here, just to set up my audio interface within uh, Studio One 3, Basically what you do is you go to your audio section here. So this is Studio One 3's um, audio page, the, the settings page obviously. And you can go to your audio setup. So it's a lot easier than it looks. So pretty much all you can see here is all the channels that I've got for my input, they're all in stereo. And then all of the channels that I've got for my output, they're all in stereo as well. So the easiest thing to do, basically if you want to set up all stereo outputs and inputs, um, that's what I've done because that's how I route my Studio One to the antelope device. Uh, But what I would recommend is just setting them all into um, stereo. So the quickest way to do it is I'll just remove it and start from scratch again. And we'll just do that. So pretty much it's open like this. So when you first see uh, any of your devices plugged in, be USB or Thunderbolt, so it could be a Zentour or Orion or whatever it is that you're using that's an antelope device or other USB devices or whatever they are, you should see them come up on this screen here and it has inputs and outputs, all these sections here. So obviously it's up to 32 because there's 32 channels of uh, the input and output on that device. But I normally add as many as 16 because I'm writing 16 up to maximum of 16. And as you can see on the Zen Tour device here, uh, the 16 preset, well not preset, but the 16 effects sections here. So what the effects channels are, these are basically the effects channels. So you can put all your plugins on the effects channels and stuff like that. And you've got 16 of those to play with. So I pretty much route everything that goes from my Thunderbolt. So you just highlight all of that up to 16 here. Um, Click and then you drag all the way down to your audio effects input. And basically that allows audio effects. Basically that's going to the effects section here. That allows those to be routed to that. And then from the audio effects section, that's obviously the in section. This thing in the pink here is the outs. So if you just highlight the first one, hold shift and click down to the end. It highlights all of the 16 channels and then you drop it down to your TB record. So TB record is Thunderbolt record. So that pretty much tells the device there. So you can see now everything's color coded. It tells the device from Thunderbolt to the AFX in, which is your audio effects, your plugins inside of this from the audio effects out. So this is the out section from that to TB record. So it's recording the information back into the DAW. Um, once that's set up like that, by the way, if you haven't noticed here, all of these are muted out. So M's for mute. So you can actually right click and hit mute row and that just mutes all of the rows that you're not using. So I recommend doing that if you're not using it, all these additional things here. These are just the mixer section. So this is all of the mixer channels here. So as you can see, you've got all the mixers there. I don't really need that because I've got my internal mixer within Studio One. So I'm not sending anything to the mixer inside of the Zen Tour. Uh, But what I am doing is then routing everything through my um, DAW of choice being Studio One. So back to the input section here. This is the inputs and the outputs. So you can see I've already got the outputs already set up here and the inputs. I'm going to show you how to do that. The same thing applies to the outputs. So you just hit add stereo, hit that about 16 times, and that will add all of the channels that you get in order in unison there all together. So then you just hit apply, obviously. So it applies it to the... um, the settings here you can actually make this a default so if you hit make default that will make it default for every single time you open up studio one it should be like that 
Um, the same thing applies to the outputs. So you just hit add stereo until you see 16 altogether. Um, obviously the main is the first one, so that's the mains down here. And then the following that is all the subgroups here. So pretty much that's your all, all your effects that you can use up to 16 worth and then hit OK. So to route the audio effects within Studio One, it's quite simple. So pretty much how that's set up is you basically just go to your Studio One PreSonus plugins. And if you hit down here, uh, right at the bottom here, this is called the pipeline. So pipeline basically tells Studio One to feed the audio from Studio One through the Antelope device or whatever it is externally you've got connected here. Um, you could have a compressor externally connected or whatever it is to a mixer, but the same thing applies with this audio interface. So it tells that to send it to, it could be your output three. So you hit output three and then returning back to Studio One from this, using this pipeline, you put it on whatever input you want. So I would line them up equally. So you've got a, you know, your channel there. And as you can see, I'm getting audio back in now because it's feeding it through the device and then back into my DAW. So that's pretty much how you route it. The other thing you want to check here is the ping. So ping pretty much just tells you how fast the signal goes from the, the device, so the computer, to the external device and then back to your device that you're working on, so back into Studio One. Um, if, it's, if it's out of alignment here, um, which is close into alignment right now, but if it comes out of alignment, just drag this little thing here and that should kind of line up the actual pink lines with the blue lines and that gets you somewhat close to the return speed and the output speed as as it went out it comes back in just as quickly so that's basically offsetting the the ping so it correctly comes back to this device once you've done that you can just hit the ping button again and it will allow the input to come back into the device and you should have a signal showing somewhat like this on both of the channels when there's things going out and then back in so that's pretty much how that works that's how it's set up and that's very brief overview of how you set your antelope device up with uh, studio one so hopefully that was helpful if it was hit me up in the comments otherwise catch you on the next one and give a like and subscribe peace out